to bakerstreet.co live. So today, as you may see from the title, we are discuss discussing about Alton Towers and their future plans for a new ride, or should I say, new ride. Could it be a new ride? God knows. So anyways, um, so where to start? Alton Towers, um, as we know, is one of, it's the biggest theme park in the UK, and um, we also know that in the last few years, we've had loads and loads of different rides come about, like, uh, retro squad which i'm totally not going to talk about now but i am um so yes retro squad then you've had stuff like nemesis come and go with the uh the rebranding part of it nemesis of terror and how that's come and gone and still here today hello 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 so so today we are not on about that though and we are actually on about retro squad and what this new proposal could be um so if you look in, in the new proposal that alton's house has put in and that this was put in five days ago uh, we have the application number, site address, Whipsaw Cafe, I don't know what this is, Alton Towers, Fairyland, uh, fa whatever it is, okay. Anyways, so we've got no description of what it could be, but uh, it says here the proposal is for the removal of the existing Funk and Fly ride, which is in Forbidden Valley, as we know, um, and to replace it with an attraction that sits atop a concrete structure, so note that, concrete structure, uh, that has an approximate overall height of 18 meters. Also note that um, the structure will house a plant and storage on either side of an a oh, of an oh no that's took down um, of an access tunnel that will maintain guest access within the Forbidden Valley area. Theming features will be situated to either side of the structure with queue line wrapping to the south and southeast. So as we know, um, the former Funk and Fly did have from the south. No, it didn't. It had it from the north east. Oh yes, it did have from the south and it did go around the back. So the fact that we have this new planning permission is kind of good, but it tells us a bit about what this ride is. Now, there was a ride formerly put on this area before and it was named Ripsaw. Now, if we put the ride height of Ripsaw at Alton Towers, we also would see that there is a huge comparison right here. Huge comparison with with do, 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 do. it is not on here but somehow it said it was i'm a little bit confused hmm oh 55 inches 140 inches and that is the exact same as that there 18 meters which i think is pretty good but yet again this also could hint to a surprise or of a comeback to fingy bobby um hello 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 so anyways We've had this five days ago, and then a couple of days later, we have had this. Now, this is the proposal, and this is the whole plan of what it could look like. Now, this plan looks amazing, and I absolutely love how they've already took this out at, like, four days after. Um, so, yes, that is what the facade looks like so far. So, it looks like a box, but we don't know if it's a box. Could it be anything? Could it just be how tall it's going to be in a box form? I'm not quite sure. Um, but we see that the uh, trees are around it, so we haven't got rid of any trees some queue line there i think i'm not quite sure um but yes this is the old place of funk and fly you've got you've also got here so it's going to sit on a concrete plane like it said it would um and then down here you've got like some sort of entrance and then these two pillars which i think will be a facade of like some sort of interior or no exterior i'm not quite sure um but yeah it's like in a box form but the box is dotted meaning it's not actually going to be a box but it's going to be the height which I think is pretty weird. Um, and then if we look at the site plan, the, the main plan of it, you've got this here, these two. Um, I think these, I think this is the inside. I'm not quite sure. I think this is like the cubing area. I think that's Nemesis of Terror. I'm not quite sure. But yes, it looks it looks quite big. It's such a big play, uh, plane of land, um, which again, we do know that Whipsaw and Funk and Fly used to live on. And then we look again at look how big it is. It, yeah, again, it's massive compared to what like Nemesis over here and the monorail going past. It is absolutely huge, which I think is amazing. Um, and the fact that we have these, the uh, fact that we have such a big area where this land is going to go, I'm, I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. But if we go back and we look at the facade, it, it kind of looks like to me that it would be something like Whipsaw, only because of the ride height and how it's been laid out. 
but I don't understand why it's going underneath because pe there's a person there and that's how big the person is compared to how tall it will be. Now it does look like Ripsaw yet again but the way it will have to be is if it is Ripsaw it will have to be underground I think. I'm not quite sure how Ripsaw was but um, but yeah I'd love to see this be Ripsaw. Now if it isn't, if it is not Ripsaw the big answer is what else could it be because we've seen Thunk come Fly, we've seen Ripsaw come here, both flat fives in this area. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Um, so yes, both flat whites in this area, and I wonder what I wonder what it could be. Now, if we look at the um things from Coaster Chicken, is put those measurements don't sound like a top spin then. Perfect height for an air race, which I think is kind of justifiable because over here we have uh it's stated to be eleven point five meters in length and fourteen point five meters in width. Uh, sitting atop at a 4.8 meters tall building with an overall height of 18 cent uh, meters, which I think is pretty cool. Now, many people have put a nebulous, like um, a yeah, Zampala nebulas. You've got air race. Now, I would love to see an air race in, but yet again, that really wouldn't suit the theming. I'd love to see something suit the theming because an air race would be more of a dark forest sort of area because it's like you've got the car Rita, you've got 13 and then you've got airways it's like <laughs> escape the flight or flight to escape i'm not quite sure uh, opinions on george malt james oh really um but yes no i think i think this area it will look good and it looks like it's got a good planning it's got a good future for the area um we have got the nemesis too nemesis is coming along very nicely um we've got nemesis of terror which is still open and it's, it's it's very good how this whole storyline's coming together. Don't know about Air though, don't know about Galactica, don't know how that's going along because yet again the last time I heard was the whole like signage, that like entry signage got ripped off and yeah, but it, it said it said this year that judging by new um templates it does look like Galactica will be back. But anyways, that is minor to what else there is coming along to Alton Towers because we have got Nemesis, like I've said. Um, and we've also got CBB's 10 years, so a lot's happening there as well, and uh, hopefully Hex is open, no, Hex will be open this year, which is another major big thing. Um, so yes, anyways, I am going to go now, um, smile always, and yeah, until next time guys, bye! <laughs>